June 8th. What next? If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. John 13, verse 7. Determine to know more than others. If you do not cut the moorings, God will have to break them by a storm and send you out. Launch all on God, go out on the great swelling tide of His purpose, and you will get your eyes open. If you believe in Jesus, you are not to spend all your time in the smooth waters just inside the harbor, full of delight, but always moored. You have to get out through the harbor bar into the great deeps of God and begin to know for yourself, begin to have spiritual discernment. When you know you should do a thing and do it, immediately you know more. Revise where you have become stogy spiritually and you will find it goes back to a point where there was something you knew you should do, but you did not do it because there seemed no immediate call to. And now you have no perception, no discernment. At a time of crisis, you are spiritually distracted instead of spiritually self-possessed. It is a dangerous thing to refuse to go on knowing. The counterfeit of obedience is a state of mind in which you work up occasions to sacrifice yourself. Ardor is mistaken for discernment. It is easier to sacrifice yourself than to fulfill your spiritual destiny, which is stated in Romans 12 verses 1 through 2. It is a great deal better to fulfill the purpose of God in your life by discerning His will than to perform great acts of self-sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. Beware of harking back to what you once were when God wants you to be something you have never been. If any man will do, he shall know.